Aishin WPT190 Hybrid Engine Water Pump Installation Process This is the step-by-step -step procedure for installing an Aishin WPT190 Hybrid Engine Water Pump. Begin by removing the engine undercover. Drain the coolant from the engine and radiator by opening the drain cock plug. Next, remove the air inlet cleaner assembly and engine cover to gain access. Now, to remove the engine water pump, first disengage the electrical connector. Then remove the top three bolts holding the water pump in place. Remove the bottom two water pump bolts from under the vehicle. And lift it out. Install the new water pump gasket included with the water pump and lightly lubricate the impeller and the gasket using a small amount of the new Aishin ACT002 coolant. To install the new pump, just reverse the process. Position the new pump and replace the five bolts, making sure they are torqued to specifications. Two long bolts are torqued to 19 foot-pounds and the three shorter bolts are torqued to 15 foot-pounds. Next, plug the water pump electrical connector back in place. Before replacing the air intake, you need to bleed the system. Begin by making sure the drain cock plug is closed and tightened. Next, remove the coolant reservoir cap and add coolant to the bead line on the reservoir tank. Squeeze the radiator inlet and outlet hoses several times by hand. And then check the level of the coolant again. If the level has fallen below the bead line, add more coolant. Now reinstall the inlet air cleaner assembly. If you aren't using a tech stream, put the engine in maintenance mode by completing the following four steps within 60 seconds. 1. Press the power or ignition switch twice to the on position without depressing the brake pedal. 2. With the transmission in park, fully depress the accelerator pedal twice. 3. Then depress the brake pedal and shift to neutral. Then depress the accelerator pedal all the way two more times. Four. Finally, put the transmission back into park and fully depress the accelerator pedal two last times. Check the informational display. The words maintenance mode should appear. If you are a Toyota technician and you're using Toyota's TechStream scanner, use the following steps to put the engine in maintenance mode instead. 1. Connect the tech stream to the DLC3. 2. Turn the power or ignition switch on. 3. Turn on the tech stream scanner. And 4. Navigate to Powertrain Hybrid Control Utility Inspection Mode Two-Wheel Drive for Measuring Exhaust Gas. Maintenance Mode should appear on the informational display. 
Make sure the AC switch is off. Then start the engine by pressing the power switch on while depressing the brake pedal. When you see the ready light in the display, the system is ready for the next step, bleeding the remaining air out of the cooling system. Start by adjusting the heater control to the maximum heat setting. Next, adjust blower speed to the lowest setting. Finally, warm the engine until the thermostat opens. Once it's open, allow the coolant to circulate with the engine running for several minutes. Check the reservoir to make sure that bubbles aren't emerging inside. Once the cooling system has been properly bled, deactivate the maintenance mode by pressing the power switch off. Allow the engine to cool down, then come back to check that the coolant level in the reservoir tank is between full and low. Add coolant if it's low. To finish up, replace the reservoir tank cap. Inspect carefully for leaks. And finally, replace the engine undercover. For more information, visit the ISIN Aftermarket website at www.isinaftermarket.com.